After a relentless final battle, Kyongsong Creature Season 2 concludes with an emotional and action-packed sequence that leaves us with more questions than answers. Let's break down the key moments and what they might mean for the future of the story. The heart-stopping climax centers around Shae Uk, who is drowning in a water tank, presumed dead as her heart stops. Just when all seems lost, Hoje or Taesang arrives and saves her. Despite Nijin trying to protect her, it eventually escapes her body, this parallels the season 1 end credit scene where Che Uk, caught between life and death, was saved by her creature turned mother's Nijin, which prolonged her life for several years. In both seasons, Che Uk's survival is tied to the mysterious powers of Nijin, but this time, she seems to have lost her connection to her past and is now living a normal life. Meanwhile, the evil Madame Maeda meets a grisly fate. After a confrontation with Sung Jo, he shoots her using his monstrous arm and then finishes her off with a gun before plunging her into the monster-filled base. The nitrogen slowly burns her alive, but in her final moments, she seems to find peace, uttering, how lovely, with her last breath. On the run, Ho Jae's friend, the detective, and the Jian Sung biotech worker manage to escape but are soon confronted by the police. The biotech worker, who unintentionally killed three people due to the Nijin, expresses fear about his fate. However, the police reassure him that mitigating factors will be considered, and as soon as the police approach, the biotech worker mysteriously vanishes. And the Jiansung CEO was arrested. As time passes, we see Cheuk living as a normal girl with no memories of her traumatic past. However, she said that she has recurring dreams where she is chasing something unknown, hinting that her subconscious is still tied to her former life. In a tender moment, she walks down a street and crosses paths with Hoje, who smiles at her from afar. Che Uk smiles back, confused and with longing in her eyes, while looking at Hoje, unaware of the deeper connection they once had. This ending leaves their love story open-ended, with the possibility of them reconnecting in the future. In the post credit scene, Sung Jo appears to have taken over the empire, with the CEO of Jian Sung now by his side. Sung Jo oversees a shady operation where a mysterious potion is being bottled and distributed to the public. This scene suggests that Sung Jo might be planning to poison the population or use the potion for some darker purpose. His control over this operation hints that the battle between good and evil is far from over. The biotech worker's fate remains unclear. After his mysterious disappearance during the police encounter, there is speculation that Ho Jae might have helped him escape. A plausible theory that Ho Jae informed the biotech worker's mother and asked her to pretend to be Che Uk's guardian after she lost her memories. This could explain why Che Uk is now living with her. Was it a happy ending? While Che Uk seems to have a fresh start, free from her painful past, the open-ended nature of her story leaves room for interpretation. Ho Jae's reappearance in her life hints that their love story could continue, making this a somewhat happy ending for Che Uk. However, with Sung Jo's sinister plans in the background, it's clear that the fight is not over. Is there a season 3? The ending is clearly open for further exploration. While Che Uk's story might feel like it reached a temporary resolution, the post credit scene strongly hints at a continuation. Sung Jo's dark plans suggest that the battle against evil will continue, leaving the door wide open for a potential season 3. Whether it's necessary is up for debate, but the fight between the creatures and humans seems far from over. In conclusion, Kyungsung Creature Season 2 delivers an emotionally intense and action-filled finale, with many characters' fates left hanging in the balance. Whether or not a Season 3 is confirmed, the ending leaves enough ambiguity to keep fans guessing, 